Hello everyone, let's make this video about quests. So the quest system is of course uh, one of the most um, anticipated system of RPG Builder. In the Discord community, most people voted for it when I asked what they were the most excited about. So um, I was personally also of course excited about it, but it's a lot of work, or rather it was a lot of work. There is still things to do, but I'm done with the complex part now it's mostly ui stuff to be added um but yeah i'm excited to make this video i'm happy that this is now um implemented in rpg builder quests are a huge part in any rpg and i made something very amazing for you to create your quest uh, for your own game so let's get into it before getting into quest actually i'm going to be getting into tasks because i decided to separate quest and task and the reason for that is because task can be because they are their own module now instead of being directly implemented into quest they can be used for other things so if we look at a task here if we create a new one um you have the you know usual name display name description and so on but we don't really care about that right now um if you look at the task type we have a lot of different um options for your task and the reason I decided to not implement them directly into Quest is because these things could be useful for many other um, modules in the future, such as achievements. For example, if I do implement achievements in RPG Builder, uh, which I actually plan to, um, we could easily use a task module to actually create achievements. For example, if we select the kill NPC task uh, type and select, I don't know, the human mage and we select 50 here we could have now an achievement using this task um, and call it mage killer or whatever because you actually need to kill 50 mages um, but let's get back to the uh, quest related topic right so um, quests as you can see here of course have a name that you see in the editor a display name that you will see in the game ui they have a description which is presented in game. I'm going to be um, actually, you know what? I'm going to get in game right now and show you side by side how a quest look in the editor and how a quest look in game. So video quests for the character name. And let's talk to this guy here. So as you can see here, this NPC, I'm going to be showing you this in the editor. We, okay, so this NPC is called the quest giver number one. And as mod, mob type, he has quest giver. And because quest giver is selected as mob type, we can now see the quest section. And here you see that it's split in two different um, sections, which is one quest given. So what quest this NPC can start and quest completed. When, what quest can this NPC complete? In this case, he can both start and complete those two quests, but he could only, for example, if you wanted him to only start those two quests, but then to have another NPC in the world finishing those two quests, then it's completely up to you and it's totally possible. All you have to do is add a new element here and select a new quest. So um, because he has quest uh, giver selected as mob type, when you right click him, he's actually going to um, display the quest menu and as of now as you see as a new character we um, are presented with those two quests that you can give to us one is get, get five match sta mage staff and the other one is um, kill the mage so if we look at now this specific quest i'm going to go in uh, full screen so it's bigger you have okay, let me open now again the rpg builder editor so um here let's select the same quest so here we are looking at the this quest but in the editor so you see that we have the name here kill the mage the description we need you to kill and uh, we need you to find and kill the mage right here um the quest cannot be repeated so you can you cannot really change this quest and um we have a, an objective here so if you go a bit lower here you see that uh, you can add as many objectives as you want. Objective for now can only be task, but I plan to implement more things later. But tags are already 
a lot of different options for you so um, as you could see before but i'm going to be showing it so because we have this task here uh, which is uh, linked here it's actually generating this uh, this ui text so uh, if we go back to the task kill one mage you see that here it has task type kill npc this npc type and the amount that we have to kill is one and it's generating this text for you kill one human mage because human mage is the name of this npc so you see how deep uh, rpg builder is going like all of this is automated for you all you have to do is go in the editor create your quest but then in game all of that is made for you you don't have to do anything for that so it's pretty amazing if we go back to the quest kill the mage quest um if we go a bit lower we see automatic rewards so here are um the items provided my bad actually before that yeah my bad so let's look at items given first items provided items given these are the same things uh you see that um when you accept the quest you will receive this one item um and the reason for that it's because here in item given we have one element and this element is a training staff and we receive one uh, copy of it and you can see here training staff one of it now if you go to the automatic rewards which is this part the rewards we see that we have the training cloth cape um, as a reward and we receive one of it so this cape is only going to be received on completion and this is an automatic reward because you don't have to pick this like no matter what happens when you complete the quest you will receive those uh, items or those rewards because um, rewards cannot only be items like if i add a new one now you can see that we have items so in this case the cape one uh, we could receive currency and then you can you know simply select one of your currency you created in the editor uh, and the amount then um, a three point so this is actually pretty neat because you can receive points so um, if you're not familiar with this there is a video dedicated to that but you could for example have a quest which is rewarding you a uh, talent point or a three point um so i talked earlier about that in the discord with a um community member um and we said yeah it's totally possible for example to have a faction in your uh, game and this faction has its own combat tree type so for example it could have a talent tree or a passive tree and this tree can only use a specific um talent point which is you know faction point or whatever and those faction points are obtained by quest and these quests are only possible to accept um for faction um, member and stuff like that so i'm not gonna go too deep about this right now otherwise the video will be like one hour but it is totally um possible to go that far in the system um, and now you have also experience in this case it will give you class experience so that's pretty much it so going back to the automatic rewards you can see that right now we have only one which is a trainee cloth cape and that's why it's presenting that and then the last part so the last rewards um type are rewards that you have to pick so here you see we have a list of four different rewards possible to pick and they are presented here so we have the trainee cloth chest which is here the first item we have a currency reward which is giving us silver free silver you can see it here we have a three point uh, reward which is rewarding us with five mage points you can see it here and we have an experience um, reward which is rewarding us with 17 experience in this case you know you can see it here again so that's pretty much it for the initial um phase in the ui so you can just now simply for example accept this quest it's going to take you back to the main quest panel for this npc and you see that the uh, training staff popped up in your inventory so we actually now have this item and on top of that you can see that the available quest list is now only one element and now we have a new type of list which is ongoing quest um and we have now kill the mage because this quest is now accepted and um, it's ongoing so we actually have to complete it and you can just click on it uh, look at it again see what it's doing and you can for example abandon it so now uh, it's back to what it was before we can just look at it again and we can accept it again if you want to and now we have 
two times this uh, training staff. So I'm in the future most likely going to be removing all quest items when you abandon them. So, but it's okay. This is part of development. Um, so now we could go ahead and equip this staff. Um, we could learn an ability. I want to spawn some pets and get this fireball. And let's get this on your action bar because we are going to have to kill a mage. Um, let's go up there because there should be a mage up there. Okay, here. So if we now spawn some pets, attack this mage. I'm gonna use a, a fire spray. And now, so we kill this one mage, right? If we go back down to the quest giver and talk to him, this quest should be completed because this was the objective. So you see that now we don't have the ongoing quest um, list anymore. We have the completed one. We kill the mage. So if we click there, we see the exact same thing. But this time, we can actually pick one of those rewards. So I don't know what to pick. I guess the cloth chest. So let's complete that. And you see that we received both the automatic reward and the peak reward. So we can now equip the cape and the chest. So that's pretty much it. Um, this was pretty much uh, RPG Builder quest in a nutshell. But there is of course much more to that. There are like thousands of uh, possible configurations. If I go back in the editor and look at the um, task module, we can see that tasks can be many, many, many different things. So let's get out of play mode. So um, tasks can be, let's make a new one. Enter a scene. So you could, for example, um, have a task being completed when you enter a new scene. So scenes are unity name for that, but it's of course, you know, wards or instances uh, in an actual game. Uh, regions, regions are not implemented yet, but regions are, um, a bit different than scenes. Regions are within a scene. So imagine that you have um, one world which is called the fire world. In this fire world, you could have, for example, five different regions. And these regions are um, entered when you, you know, enter the actual area. So learn an ability. So a task could be, you know, um, uh, completed when you learn a specific ability. Learn a recipe. Recipe is not implemented either because this is going to be for crafting and I did not start crafting yet. But kill NPC, this is a task we just completed. So we had a mage to kill, but now we could select a warrior and have to kill 100 if you wanted to. Get item, so you could have to get a specific item if you wanted a quest to require you to gain two armors. That would be possible. Reach class level, if you wanted, for example, a quest that ask you to be um, mage level 10, for example, or skill level, the same thing. Use item, so it could require you to use a specific item, so you could have to uh, get it from a monster or in the world, whatever, like any way you want to get um, items and talk to a specific NPC. So a quest could require you to just, you know, go somewhere and talk to an NPC. So, okay, this video is actually already pretty long. I've been talking a lot already. I think um, I'm going to be making a new video showing the uh, new UI elements, which are not done yet, but I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, which is going to be a quest journal or panel so that you can see your currently accepted quest and ongoing quest and failed quest and so on, as well as a um, quest tracker on the side of the UI. So you can see, uh, I mean, track and see the current progress of um, the quest you want to track. So that's pretty much it. I hope you like how the entire quest system is made in RPG Builder. I think personally it's really well done and it gives you so much freedom. And um, keep in mind that this is the version one of the quest system and that I plan to heavily update it in the future. And the main thing I plan to update is to support non-linear quests. So meaning that quest uh, will be able to have uh, multiple outcomes and things like that, which is not the case right now. So thank you for watching, join the Discord community if you liked it and see you in the next video.